I feel like I'm in another country and I'm on vacation and my child is not around. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us for another edition of Paris Perfect. And today we are here with Christy Vega of the famous Casa Vega here in Los Angeles, a landmark institution for Mexican cuisine. And today we're gonna do her three like most popular dishes and uh, the three most popular beverages because we need a pair of perfect. What do you think? <laughs> I'm excited. Are you game? <laughs> yeah, I'm totally game. So, so Casa Vega opened in 1956. My okay. father was 22 years old and he was the son and also an immigrant of two immigrants that immigrated over in 1930s to open the very first Mexican restaurant in Los Angeles on wow. Alvera Street. Alvera Street was going to go no alcohol. So my grandfather thought this isn't going to be good. We yeah. survive off margaritas. Let's go to Hollywood. So they moved the restaurant and we're met with a bit of racism. Two years in Hollywood and nobody would come to the restaurant because it was Mexican owners. So my dad came home and to support his parents, dropped out of school and worked three jobs. And while he was working those jobs, somebody recognized the family and said, you're the Vegas from Alvera Street, you need to reopen. And a lady gave my dad three months free rent at Mary Ellen and Ventura, and that's how Casa Vega was started. <laughs> I've always loved this place. I remember the first time I walked in the door, you've got that amazing little bar set up indoors. It's very dark, but you feel like you're in LA, yeah. right? If you could write the script for like, what LA feels like in a Mexican restaurant, you have it. Yes. <laughs> I know whenever I'm in Mexico, one of the things that we always talk about is how great the service is in Mexico. Yes. And if you can duplicate that anywhere else here in the United States, especially in LA, you're already winning by that alone. So yeah. that is amazing. What do we got here? We got some <laughs> food oh show. Yes, yes, All right. Wow, this is an impressive. So this is one of our most famous items and it's called the Casa Vega Mocajete. And inside is our enchilada sauce with a little bit of barbecue with it. We have grilled carne asada and grilled chicken and we have grilled tiger shrimp, grilled um, chili relleno um, with queso fresco inside. Oh. <laughs> this is a so great piece. He's going to tell you. fajitas by far yes. one of our number one sellers. I think yeah. like we could just open up a whole fajita. Yeah. So these are like um, Mexican street tacos. So little teeny tacos that you would typically find like at a street vendor. And we have al pastor, which is a really yummy pork with like a pineapple chili sauce. And then we have grilled carne asada and grilled pollo. I'm about beverages and I definitely started drinking a little Let's Modelo beforehand. Let's here, talk about this table. guy. This looks amazing. This. <laughs> so this is one of our yeah, most here. Popular drinks these days because it's made with mezcal. It's very pure, the agave compared to tequila. It's smoky so too. Mm -hmm. yeah, a bit. I like the smokiness of mezcal. Yeah, this drink has a little bit of pineapple, some cilantro, and um, a little bit of lime juice. So obviously we sell. I'm a never leaving. Ton of margaritas. So this has metal cucumber, has a nice two ounce pour of tequila, has a lime juice, some agave, and it's just divine and wonderful. As an amazing Mexican institution. I think the toughest job would be like staying up on your game, right? Yeah. Because you continue like raise your own bar, yeah. but then it's your own bar. Yeah. How do you do that? Like this spread is amazing. How Thank do you do you. that? It's a fine line because there's so much that has made Casa Vega very famous that I always want to honor and I don't want to change too much. What I try and do <laughs> is just improve everything we have. So since I've been here, I've improved the quality of everything. And the chicken is cage free. All the meat is the highest grade we can get. That's kind of what I bring to the table to make sure that it stays Take relevant. Take it up at a level. And also the drinks. I think the drinks are a great way to stay relevant and current. I just changed the whole bar program. We squeeze all our fresh juices. There's no syrups. Everything's craft made and the customers love it. They're very happy. I am a Michelin lover. <laughs> so I have my own Michelada mix. There's a couple things that whenever I go to a, re a restaurant that I judge it with, Salsas and micheladas. If you give me a good salsa and a good michelada, I'll come every time. Every time. You yeah. can just sit there and eat chips and salsa, what? spill your beer, yeah. and drink micheladas all day. Yeah. Right? So, we have a feast here. Is there a way, like an order that we should go through? I mean, we've kind of just been attacking it, which I think is a great yeah. way to do it. Sometimes I like to start with a little bit of the Mexican shrimp cocktail yes, as a little bit of an appetizer and kind of get it going. Mm -hmm. But I also like it to end the meal because it's refreshing. But really, I think the best way to attack a Mexican feast is seriously just to attack it. And that's the thing about Mexican food. It's all supposed to be homey and comforting and just good food that makes you feel good. There <laughs> aren't a lot of dishes that say, hey, I should be first, and then I should be second, and then I should be third. It's like 
hey man, like what's going on? A little bit it's of like this, a little bit of that. There's a thing that happens with, with Mexicans when we gather around. The meat isn't out of the grill, it's already being eaten. So it doesn't even make it to the table. If it does get Everyone to the table, you like, gotta eat it because if not, meat? somebody else is gonna eat it. So you've been in this location for a long time. How does it feel to watch this neighborhood grow up kind of around you. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. right? At the end of the day, we're a neighborhood restaurant. We're a neighborhood restaurant for this community right here, and they keep us afloat and have the entire time. And we're so grateful to the community of LA. Well, I can see why. I mean, yeah. you're serving them the best Mexican food that exists in Los Angeles. And then there's the beverages. I know that you have like a way to judge a michelada. First of all, don't try to overdo it. That's, right. that's one of the keys to Too much stuff. Too much stuff, right? You have your tomato base, whether it's clamato or whatever you're using. Then you just gotta put a little bit of lime, a little bit of maybe a little bit of salt, a little bit of, you know, what I call Worcester sauce or, or Maggi <laughs> sauce. And that's it, like that's all, that's all you need. You don't need much more than that, right? My thing is always don't put too much, don't try to add too much because then you'll ruin it. Like, so where do you get the fish? Adrian will know very well. This is a Mexican shrimp cocktail. What's different about it is that if we drench it inside the sauce versus like hanging outside, you know, or like dipping it in a cocktail sauce. This is a clamato based sauce and, and it has a pico de gallo and cilantro and lime juice. And it's just how I grew up eating um, shrimp and certainly seafood. And it was my dad's favorite thing. So this is his recipe. Yeah, right. yeah. A lot of times it's really hard to find a good cocktail. One of the things I've noticed is that a lot of places will water it down to try to get more out of it instead of getting, you know, making it good. This one's definitely one that is done right. When you have a shrimp cocktail, there's really only one way to pair it, and that's michelada or straight up beer. I would say that, you know, you can really go with the piña, with the tacos. I think that goes really well, especially the piña with the al pastor taco because the al pastor does need you know, a little bit of pineapple in it. Everybody in wherever you go, they'll put a slice of pineapple in that pesto. It's part of that sweetness that you want to add to the spice. I feel like I'm in another country and I'm on vacation and my child is not around. This is an institution of LA and it shows. I'm from Missouri and it's called the Show Me State and we were definitely showed why Casa Vega is the best in LA right now. I will say everything is insane, but I will drive from Tijuana to have this shrimp cocktail. <laughs> so I will say that. That's a huge statement. And I will drive from Burbank to have this drink right here. This shrimp cocktail, everybody. You must try it here. All the food is really good. This for me definitely stands out. You know, the Michelada is a classic very good michelada. You have two amazing drinks. I don't know how you get better. Yeah. Honestly. Does she make a better michelada than you make for yourself? That's subjective. <laughs> That's yeah, subjective. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna join forces on that one. For me, what I love about Mexican cuisine as a whole is like the shareability of it, right? Yes. It's the family. Yes. And it kind of comes back to the culture as a whole, right? Yes. Well, I look forward to everything that you're going to do here because i don't know how you can get better yeah, thank you. christy thank you this has been amazing everybody please like subscribe and if you're part of the paris perfect family come to casa vega tell them you saw the episode look for christy here just let us know what you think i mean this is amazing i know you'll love it order the shrimp cocktail order the michelada and uh until next time chris you have to come here period cheers, cheers. <laughs> cheers. I'm 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 low. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>